Yes. The freaking hog. Look at that. Oh yeah. Good morning, thanks for joining me today. We're out of Pacific City today. We're fishing for salmon, lingcod, rockfish. It's gonna be an awesome day, so let's get out there and have some fun. Let's go. So we managed to make it out through the surf. It was a little tough. Uh, a little out of practice, but uh, no big deal. I uh, just leaned over too much once I uh, got into the water here to adjust my camera and rolled out of the damn kayak. So luckily I uh, didn't lose the camera, didn't lose my stuff, but I got a little wet and got to practice my self-rescue. So it uh, wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be to get back in. So. Make sure you guys practice that because uh, you're going to need it at, at some point. We're almost out to the salmon area. We're going to get down to about 120 feet of water. We're going to set up with a pro troll flasher, trolling herring with a top secret brine from a new friend of mine. And hopefully we're going to get into some fish. So let's go get them. Okay, so we're trolling. We got a pro troll flasher going with some brine herring and a sure spin helmet and we're making sure that we got that one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand pump on the rod here that means my pro troll is working right it means my bait is spinning at a good clip right now we're trolling at about 25 feet it's about where the fish are typically cruising hopefully we're going to get a little bang 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 and uh We'll have a fish on. But right now I'm tro trolling through a huge school of rockfish that are down at 50 feet. <laughs> it's quite possible one's going to come up and grab the bait. But we'll see. So we're going to keep trolling. This is pretty much it. As soon as you get that bait in the water, you're fishing. And you just want to watch your depth. You want to watch the contour. Right now I'm also looking for feeding birds. I'm looking for trash zones in the water anything that those herring and anchovies can hide under that's really what i'm looking for so i see a lot of boats <laughs> out really deep but right now i'm only in 90 feet of water when i cruise back around i'll turn around and i'll go a little deeper and just see what we do see we find the fish so we're switching up a little bit nothing on the salmon so we're going to drop down See if we can pick up some rockfish here. We got a nice little spot that I think is going to have something on the bottom. So let's drop this sucker down and let's see what happens. There's a bite. There's a fish. Oh yeah, there's a fish. Mm, mama. Yes, sir. See what happens when you fish a bait right? Come on, fishy. big but it's actually a wing cod hooked in the belly let him go all right freedom probably a legal wing cod but he was snagged not legal or ethical to keep a 
snagged fish so okay so we just put our new bait a little tip squid got a school here sitting about 80 feet let's see what we can do there's a bite come on fish on That's another chunky right there. Yeah, baby. Whoa, another toad. Hello, toad. Look at that, dude. Hello. Okay, we're dropping down one more spot here right on the edge of this cliff so the fish are right at 80 feet <laughs> we'll drop down to 80 we'll pick up our last toad and then we'll focus on some link hod for a bit oh there are 80 feet there we go fish on ready go go fish on Oh yeah. Oh, mama. This one's got some weight. Transitioning over to Ling's. We're still using the same bait. We we'll wrap some squid on the end of it. And right now we're in about 90 feet of water and some fishing on sitting on top of this nice pinnacle. As we hit the bottom, we we'll start jigging it up and down until something gives it a bite. Tipping your jigs with the squid. Great tip. Just gives it a little bit of natural smell, a little natural feel get those lings and cavies to come out of their hole for it. Rock. This might be a keeper ling or a cabbie. Oh, it's a ling. It's a cab. Oh, that kind of dive says cabbie to me. Can't see it yet. Oh, it's a fat cabbie. Hello, sir. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's got to go back. Look at that nice fish. He's got to go back since I already have my five rockfish. That's okay. I prefer the black rocks over the cabbies anyway. Well, we had a pretty awesome day. No salmon, but we got rock cod, ling cod, 
Nice cavy, had to go back. And uh, all in all, conditions were pretty good outside of taking a swim on the way in, but hey, it's all right, it's warm out here, so. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe and tell your friends. And I look forward to joining you on the nice, the next, the next adventure. Thank you.